Welcome back everyone to the Complete Pine Leaf. I am back here in Osgiliath with Moblong, who is, I believe, ready to send us into Northern Ithilien. A vanguard of Lord Aragorn's host has passed through Osgiliath and gone to the crossroads. Angbor, Lord of Lebanon, leads these men in securing the place and preparing the way. I deem it as an undertaking that will require many hands. So I need to travel to the crossroads. Hmm, Angbor. Interesting. I guess he was late in getting to the Pelennor, so he's going to be early in getting to the crossroads. Since Mithrandir is right at the exit from Osgiliath, and he's going to be sending me to the crossroads anyway, I might as well speak with him. Representatives from every land stand with the host of the West. Representatives from every land, dwarves, men, and even hobbits. Young Master Brandebuck recovers still from his wounds, secure in the Houses of Healing. So it falls to you and to Peregrine Took to ride with Aragorn as representatives of the Shirefolk. He rides just ahead to the east. If you wish to speak with him on your way to the crossroads of the king, now, I can't remember whether or not... Well, they obviously have to have different wording on it if you're not playing a hobbit, because... Obviously, he won't be saying even you if... If you're not playing a hobbit on there. So I don't know if they just have a slight tweak in the wording, or if you just skip by Peregrine if you are... If you're not a hobbit. What have I got myself into now, I wonder? Well, yeah, I think it is going to be a bit of a pickle, isn't it, Perry? Yes, hello, Pine Leaf. What have you gotten ourselves into now? <sighs> Aragorn says that it's a good for every land to be represented when we go to confront the enemy in Mordor. But I don't feel a bit like representative for the Shire. Who, from home, would be comfortable walking up to the front gate of Mordor and hollering and carrying on? Well, I think I've done plenty of things like that. I don't think comfortable, though, is the right word for that, even for some of these folk over here, so don't worry about that. But I think this answers my question on whether or not everyone talks to Peregrine, because his voiceover impl made it sound like that he was the only one getting himself into this, while the text here ha says we. So, obviously, there's a little difference here. Lobelia Sackville Baggins, maybe, or that Lotho, but certainly not me, Pineleaf. Um, perhaps you feel differently, being the great adventurer that you are. I wish Mary were here, but he's still recovering in the city. He has done his share of great deeds, but what have I done? Gandalf says I might have saved Faramir's life, and I'm glad that whatever small part I played might have helped, but I certainly didn't feel like such the hero at the time. Yeah, there's always that. Well, I need to head to the crossroads, so I'll see you over there. Now, let's see if I could find them where we have the sun coming up in the east, which is, I think, a nice switch considering the dawnless day that we had for such a long time. Well, let's see, I'm just trying to see how the glass... Well, it's a nice blue sky. That's good. Aragorn has called a halt at the crossroads of the king. Ah, oh, hello there, sir. I have set trumpeters at each of the roads that leave this meeting of the ways. The armies of the enemy have done what they could to despoil the beauty of this land, but Athelion resists their deprivations. It was once called the Garden of Gondor, and so it may be again. I have set trumpeters at each of the roads that leave from the meeting of the ways, as Gandalf recommended, but we'll sound, we will sound our arrival and our intentions. Speak with each of the trumpeters, and they will be heralds of our coming. 
Once this is done, you should move ahead into the host and defeat the enemies and find lurking about the wild. Men of Gondor have told me that the ranger encampment is not far to the north, at a place called Henneth Anun. We will meet you there. Hmm. So I need to defeat foes throughout northern Athelion and talk to Celebrom and Limlair and Ruhir and Kulang to announce the coming of the king. Okay, I suppose we can do that. Well, I guess we'll start with the one where we came from. Time to send a message. The lands of Gondor have returned and take back. And take back all of these lands. There you go. And here is our friend Kulang, who is now ready to take up the instrument. Are you ready to try? Behold, the King Elessar exerts his command upon these lands. There you go. Now, to be really intimidating and send a message to the folks over at Minas Morgul. So obviously that's not a friendly place to... Did I miss something? Yes, I did. I completely bypassed the road leading to Minas Morgul. So there we go, towards the Morgul Vale. Do you want to try blowing the horn down to them? King of the Star has come! Let all leave these lands or give them up. Alright. Now we head out to the last one, the one that heads north, which is the road that we'll be taking. No, we are not going to be heading straight to Minas Morgul. We are going to eventually be heading towards the Black Gate. What do you think about that? You want to have a quick trip to the Black Gate? The Lords of Gondor have come! Behold! Well, I'm not going to head out and defeat the foes all the way through there yet, because I think I'm going to have a few quests involved in all this, and it's going to start by speaking to Lord Angbor here. Hello? Back again. Ah, Pineleaf! Here we are so close to the dreaded stronghold. If I didn't have my orders from Lord Aragorn, I would march up to the gates of Minas Morgul and rap at the bars with my blade. Let me know. F Let them know fear for a change. Oh boy. That is how I feel. Yet my men still tremble at the down and see downcast when they glance that way. Have I told you how? When I ousted the Herodrim from Lossanok, not a single of my men died? Well, that's true. Take a look at the statue over there. My men are restoring it rightfully to a symbol of hope. All right, let's have a look at the statue of the fallen king. Well, hmm, that's not the greatest head up there. The statue is certainly in need of repair. Well, yes. The head certainly <laughs> tells us about that. And maybe could use a little bit of a cleaning, but I guess I'll need to fix the head first. A bit to be done. As you can see, the orcs defiled the statue. It is hard work restoring hope when you have none of your own. 
would you keep these men, help these men out and raise their spirits as they restore the statue? What do you say? Well, yes, uh, stay a moment, finally. Aragorn has asked me to make his coming known to the Morgul orcs have regrouped through <laughs> in the nearby Athelion, so that a word may be spread amongst these loathsome kind. If I, if it were you who stood before them and proclaimed the true King of Gondor returning, I vouch it will strike some fear into their hearts. It might even put such bravery into the chest of my men at the crossroads. So I need to tell more ghoul lurkers that the king has returned, and I need to defeat more ghoul lurkers. I only have to tell, I need to tell eight of them, and I need to defeat four of them. Can I tell them, then defeat them? Well, I guess I have to let four of them survive so they could go and tell everybody else, I guess. <laughs> Well, we will see. Whoa, it's, it's a bit of a pointy quest, isn't it? So the question is, where are these lurkers located? Because it's pointing me this way. Is this the... Ah, this is the one heading out towards the Morgul Vale. Alright, I guess that makes sense. So we need Morgul Lurkers. Well, as long as it's not bog lurkers, though, I suppose. Oh, hold on, there's somebody up here. Ah! A Morgul lurker! Hey, you! <laughs> Proclaim loudly and return to true king of Gondor! Yes! There you go! How about up here? Maybe you can get close enough to defeat one? All right, all right, fine. So that means I have to interact with the total of 12 of them. I need to scream at eight of them and kill another four. I suppose that will work. Assuming I can find them, of course. Apparently, there are also a few of these lurkers. Oh. Over at the walls of Osgiliath. They are everywhere. They are lurking everywhere. So we will get rid of them from wherever they are. And any more this way? Or should I just turn around and look for them at other locations? Perhaps closer to the crossroads. I'm done screaming at them with anything other than a war cry, so let's head out and give the rest a different kind of message. A message that they won't live long enough to forget, that's for sure. I think they got the message. Exemplary work. I'm certain they ran like the cowards that they are. Well, at least the ones that I didn't spear. When you're able, speak with Arundel near the Statue of the Fallen King. He's in charge of the statue repairs, and we'll be able to put you to work in assisting our efforts here. All right, I'll speak to Arundel, and let's see how much of the work they make me do, because what else is new? Uh, let's see. Ah, there he is. Hello there. Let us help you bring glad tidings, friend. Well, I don't know what kind of glad tidings there could be if we're going around repairing a statue that's on the, that's next to the road to the Morgul Vale, but all right. Yes, I am Arundel. As you see, the repairs are behind schedule. Orcs have defiled the statue, removing the head, and scrawled unintelligible markings all over it. Probably just black speech graffiti. First, these orcish poles will need to be removed. Then that vile head must come down. 
If we're able, the statue's original head should be retrieved and placed back atop the shoulders. So I need to remove orcish poles. Orc oh, these orcish poles! Yeah. Alright, I suppose we should remove these things. Oh, the entire pole is orcish, apparently, including... So... Yeah, alright. I guess we can get rid of these. Seems to be a bit of a rubble on the ground also on top of that. And there you go. Looks like a giant sword stuck into the ground. Well, at least at that angle. Oh, no, that's a ladder. I suppose we will need the ladder if we're going to help with anything. As long as the ladder is reasonably secure. Alright, now... Let's break the defiled statue head. You are expecting me to get up there? Well, maybe that ladder will come in handy. Yep, I'm expecting to climb the ladder. Well, at least we have a convenient scaffolding here. Alright, Hobbit, to remove this head that is... Twice said hobbit size. <sighs> Where did I put it? Maybe I just pushed it over the side. But I suppose the statue is going to need a head now that I've removed the one that is... that was there before. So now I need to find one head for the king. Ah! One king's head. Now... Do you really think that I could pick that thing up? I'd be hard-pressed to pick that thing up, even if it were made of styrofoam. The excuse before of having pushed it over, I don't think could possibly work in this case. Now, where were we? Let's place... Alright, well, that works. Don't ask me how I did it. There you go. One head replaced. Will you hear my plight? You completed all of those tasks? One alone would have put us ahead of schedule. Perhaps we shall be allowed to march on from this place thanks to you. You're welcome. What else does he need? I hope he doesn't ask me to clear out the graffiti. There's still much to do before the statue is repaired. Our workers are in need of some good stone to fill in the cracks. Would you retrieve some for us? You should be able to find suitable stones in Osgiliath along the banks of the Anduin. While you are at the river's edge, you might also be able to take some good water with which we could clean the foul scrawlings of the statue. Alright, so I need to... Collect suitable stone and get some clean water. Well, I'm hoping there is some clean water flowing down from the river. Ah, the joys of the Anduin. Now, let's make sure I don't get swept away. I don't want to find myself all the way back in Pelagir because I... Slipped into the wrong location. Now, any others around here? Or maybe some nice water that could be suitable? Oh, of course, the next stone is right smack in the middle of the river, and did I miss that one before? Oops. So let's grab this one. Any more? Between all of the rubble and the occasional junk thrown in by orcs, I couldn't find any clear water on the southern side of the city, so I'm trying the northern end, where, yeah, that looks like some nice fresh water. Now, let's see if we can find any more places. 
perhaps clean or clear or pure would have been a better word because fresh would just imply that there's no salt in it and I would think that if there were salt in water this close to the sea we'd be <laughs> well I'll say something about the force of the river actually this is a bit too forceful of a river for it to be brackish upstream now I thought I saw oh there it is right there and we got a little bit there and just what on this end oh there it is way over there let's swim across the well, maybe not swim across the undoing. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a piece of rubble there. I was wondering, boy, was that a forceful river? There you go. No, that's the place I already checked. And where am I missing? Ah, there it is. One last bit of undoing water, and I think it's time for us to get back to the crossroads. There you go. Stones plus water. The earth has reclaimed the deeds of men and orc, fair or foul. These stones will do nicely. You have a keen eye. I will give them to the builders. If you would not mind, use some of that water you collected to clean the posts around the crossroads. Then use the remaining water to clean the scrawls from the statue itself. Clean posts. All right. Okay, dokie. All right. Let's clean this. Wow, that is nothing short of miraculous. I had thought that these were cracks inside this stone here, but it looks like it's just dirt. Look at that. Amazing. This is wonderful water. I would just have never have thought it capable of making such a drastic change to all of this. Nothing like nice, clean, pure, undoing water to get the most out of your cleaning purposes. I wonder what it's going to do to all of that graffiti. Oh boy, it looks. Like such a nice change on there. And I guess there are just two more. That would be these two. All right. One of these. Try to keep it cool. All right. Good. And then finally this one. Oh, and I thought there was a broken line there that some pieces that were broken off. But apparently, no. It was just being well hidden by all that. Well... This is going to be quite a cleaning chore. The statue finally shines after many years of neglect and vandalism. Oh, yes. Well, not bad. The earth has reclaimed the deeds of men and orc, fair or foul. Well, look at that. It's messy again. Oh, well. Well, look at that. If it were as if an army of the enemy never had laid hands upon the statue. Please, let Angborn know that we're nearly finished and that might march with the host of the West when we depart. I thank you for, again for your help. Well, perhaps I was optimistic in my change, in my idea there, but perhaps they'll get a more thorough stir cleaning from the army. Well, it looks like we've done some polishing there. How, how would Angbor react? Let's find that out in the next episode of The Complete Pine Leaf.